Historians debate about exactly where the first Homo sapiens, or modern humans, appeared, but the earliest fossils have been found in the south and east of Africa, and they are believed to be over 150,000 years old. Approximately 60,000 years ago, as the climate shifted from wet to very dry, early humans migrated out of Africa. These early humans needed to find food and water, so they moved into Southwest Asia, either across the Red Sea or across Egypt through the Sinai Peninsula. After crossing the Red Sea, groups of hunter-gatherers spread out into several different regions. The lower sea levels would have allowed humans to reach many of the islands in Oceania, such as Borneo, by foot. It is less clear how humans made it to Australia. Unlike Borneo and many other islands in Oceania, Australia has always been separated from any other land by at least 60 miles of ocean. Yet, human remains from the period of the human migration were found on the island. Archaeologists believe that early humans may have built simple boats or rafts and used them to reach Australia. Around the same time, another group crosses the Red Sea as well, spreading throughout Asia. Monsoons in India and Arabia caused the rivers of the area to flood. To avoid the flooding rivers, game moved north and east. The hunter-gatherers followed the game, which was still their main source of food. Some groups of humans followed the coastline around India and Southeast Asia until they came to modern-day China and Russia. Other groups stayed in Southwest Asia, following the Tigris and Euphrates rivers up into what is now known as the Fertile Crescent. It was here that the earliest complex civilizations would arise. Homo sapiens did not live in Europe during the Ice Age because the climate was too cold. However, as the Ice Age neared its end, around 40,000 years ago, the climate of Europe grew milder and more hospitable. This, along with their mastery of fire, enabled modern humans to travel further north. There were still mile-high glaciers across northern Asia and Europe. And now, mankind faces hardships that make us who we are. Just a few hundred miles from the glacier wall, in what will become modern France, a family survives in the harshest climate mankind has known. We devise new technologies to keep us alive. But our world is as treacherous as ever. In this frozen world, mankind makes a great leap forward. Fire turns caves into homes. We sharpen animal bones to the first needles and make tailored clothes for the first time. As you can imagine, keeping warm during this ice age was critical to survival. On the walls of the cave, the most uniquely human invention of all, images of our lives and our world, some of the first works of art. This shows not only that humans lived here, but it's also an expression of individuality and evidence of the beginning of humans moving farther from our animal roots to a new kind of creature. Migration towards the north of East Asia paved the way for human migration to the Americas. Humans are usually thought to have reached the Americas through this route by around 15,000 years ago, expanding downwards along the coast or through an ice-free corridor in the interior. But this is far from a closed case. As we've learned in class, there are more than a couple of theories. Though disputed, the Bering Land Bridge theory, the longest lasting theory about migration to the Americas, is based on an understanding that 15,000 years ago, Alaska and Siberia were connected by a narrow strip of land known as the Bering Land Bridge. It is thought that groups of hunter-gatherers followed game across this land bridge, from Russia into North America. When the sea levels rose again, the land bridge was lost, along with any archaeological evidence of the crossing. After reaching North America, 
Early humans made their way south, eventually reaching the South American continent. As the North American glaciers receded, groups of hunter-gatherers expanded further north into present-day Canada and the northern part of the United States. Once humans became more settled in these new regions, they began domesticating local plants and animals. These natural resources provided not only food, but also clothing and materials to build shelters. Dogs, goats, sheep, and chickens were among the first animals to be domesticated. Wheat, barley, and flowers were some of the first domesticated plants. 